you please ask Miss Nolan if my personal effects have yet been removed from the Duke's bedchamber? Placed in the dust. I would never dream of concealing the truth of such important matters. Your Grace. My brother seems to have been embroiled in scandal. Please request that His Grace prepare his largest carriage. I shall require my space. This scandal could very well tarnish my debut, Mama. Perhaps we should delay my coming out altogether. A few years. Oh, hush, so. child. All will be. Yes, any cards, Miss Bridgerton. What a debutante you will be. <laughs> While there is no Paris. Even charity requires funds, of which you must have considerable amounts, I presume. Come on, Listen to me, brother. That the ton devours every bit of whistle downs on D is the only thing keeping this family from shame. Then, because of her column, no one believes. Perhaps we should count you lucky to not have married a stranger. She was not a stranger. She was. I will not speak of my duty. <laughs> Fair enough. I presume you won't speak of what happened on your honeymoon. You were still awake? It's truly what our marriage will be for the future. You out all night doing God knows what with God knows whom. <laughs> Finish what we started. What is to become of us? Marina, you must tell me that this Whistledown woman is mistaken. What she wrote, I consider myself lucky that you chose me. Lied to me, tried to trick me into a fraud of a marriage. I shall take my leave of you for the last time, Miss Thompson. Oh, is this not lovely? All of us together again. Who is she? Your Majesty. Whistle down. I've tasked you with unmasking with a woman with child. Miss <laughs> Cowper, then. Judging not, lest we too be judged. The things that were truly important. If I'd have known the truth, then perhaps I... The Duchess is quite overcome. I came here to apologize to you. To me. I misjudged you. And I wanted to tell you that what you felt... I hear General Langham and his wife are in London. Why should you be left all alone to bear the punishment for his crime? You Would you rather stake your fortunes on the outcome of a business scheme which may very well fail, or back the short thing? Simple arrangement, and both our problems will be solved. <sighs> Welcome to my den of iniquity. All it takes is a little practice and perseverance. Seems I have been blessed with some beginner's luck. The game is not over yet, Your Grace. <laughs> I rather think so, too. Again. <laughs> reckless affairs. Are you still seeing that opera singer you believe no one knows about? You judge me, yet you cannot possibly understand the responsibility of heading a family. Oh, because you oh, yeah, Come on! And so I made a vow that his efforts would be in vain. If your hatred for your father outweighs any affection that you might bear towards me... My course me. is adieu. Within the next few days, you will know then which vow you have broken and how... But my luncheon... At least she did not say... She wrote nothing. Someone who visited your household regularly might have seen or overheard something. It is a possibility. In that case, we must yes. reconsider our methods. And did the Duke sign his name as well on this letter? No. But there is nothing more you can do. Marina. It is over. If you are not truly ready, I shall not ask you to play pretend. Perhaps I have been rushing. Sir Granville. Bridgerton. It takes courage to live outside the traditional expectations of society. I would like to make a stop and pick up a friend. A friend? I had a ton with air and I did not have a single worthwhile exchange. <laughs> the entire ton. You mean everyone except for the Federal Tons. <laughs> They're perhaps a tradesperson. I certainly. Good as gospel.